Abortion is, without a doubt, one of the most controversial and debated topics of our time. Much of the controversy centers around how rights of pregnant women should be balanced against rights of their unborn children. Laws and opinions are not simply pro-choice or pro-life, but fall on a spectrum, where abortion is typically more accepted very early in the pregnancy for reasons such as rape, incest, serious genetic defects, or maternal health risks, and less accepted late in the pregnancy for reasons such as career inconvenience or sex selection. To dive deeper, let's look at the facts. Globally, the WHO estimates 45% of all pregnancies end with abortion. However, in the United States, that number reduces to 18% with the peak occurrence five weeks after conception and about 99% during the first half of pregnancy. About 1% of U.S. abortions are because of rape, about half a percent due to incest, and about 1% due to fetal abnormality. Globally, about 45% of abortions are unsafe and kill about one out of every 500 pregnant women having them. Legal U.S. abortions are about 500 times safer. 94% of women of reproductive age live in countries that allow abortion under at least some circumstances, with 36% having access to it on request at varying gestational ages, another 22% to save the mother's life, 12% for health reasons, and 24% on broad social and economic grounds. 6% of women of reproductive age live in countries prohibiting abortion altogether. Abortion was legal in the United States up to roughly the fourth month of pregnancy until the last third of the 1800s, after which it was outlawed state by state. The 1960s, however, saw challenges emerge to the national patchwork of anti-abortion laws with Hawaii and New York decriminalizing the procedure in 1970. In 1973, the Supreme Court made a landmark ruling in the Texas case of Roe v. Wade that a woman's right to terminate a pregnancy is implicit in the constitutional right to privacy, but that states could regulate the procedure after the first trimester. So at the time that this that the decision was issued, the Supreme Court justices did not anticipate that it would be a particularly momentous or consequential decision. They issued the decision in January uh, rather than saving it for June, which is usually when the Supreme Court tries to issue its blockbuster decisions. Abortion law continued to be tested and revised over the next 40 years. Planned Parenthood versus Casey in 1992 saw the court reject Roe's trimester framework and set a new standard for allowing state restrictions by adopting an undue burden test requiring state restrictions not to place a substantial obstacle in the path of a woman seeking an abortion of a non-viable fetus. On June 24, 2022, following a challenge to a Mississippi abortion law, the Supreme Court overturned the federally protected right to abortion. The Dobbs versus Jackson Women's Health Organization ruling stated that the Constitution makes no express reference to a right to obtain an abortion, thereby reversing a legal precedent set by Roe and handing legislative power back to the states. There are three main narratives that define the controversy around abortion. The left narrative, the right narrative, and a cynical narrative. The left narrative says that access to safe abortions is fundamental to the principle of human autonomy and crucial to women's mental and physical health. Banning abortions will do very little other than strip women of their rights to bodily autonomy, put their health and safety at risk, and disproportionately affect marginalized communities that don't have the means to seek the essential treatment elsewhere. The right narrative says that the central question in the abortion debate is when human life begins. Even if not yet fully developed, an unborn child is human, and to take their life is morally reprehensible. Unborn children should have the same right to bodily autonomy that abortion supporters demand for women. 
elected state legislators must pursue all options to protect unborn lives. The cynical narrative states that what started off as a moral debate on women's rights versus unborn babies' rights has morphed into a cynical strategy for winning elections. Both sides focus on rare situations that account for only about one in a hundred abortions, either very late-term abortions or unusual reasons such as rape, incest, and fetal abnormalities to rile up their political base and drive voter turnout. Thank you.